Hi all, good morning. Welcome to a new presentation. Today, I am going to describe meta-analysis in Stata. So first, I would request you to download the data from video description I have uh, given in the link. So if you click on the link, then the data will be downloaded. So now I am going to open the data set. Just click and ABC folder under derive metadata, this data, this is example data. So this is our data set. Uh, this is study one, study two. How to prepare data set that uh, I won't describe. Just today I will describe the how to analyze data. For example, uh, first of all, we have to prepare the data set. In the data set, the main point, uh, for example, the example is death, death on treatment group or exposed group alive. So if we browse, yes, this is our sample size. So, uh, the number of death in the treatment group 50, number of alive in the treated group six. On the other hand, number of death 64 in the treatment group, sorry, control group, and number of alive uh, 47 in the alive group. So this is the example data. Uh, just the variable will be labeled based on your study. So first of all, we have to need that some package. The name of the package is metan. So type help metan, help metan. So if you use Stata 17, then you not need to install package. On the other hand, if you use Stata below 17, either 16 or 15 or uh, below, that's below 17, then obviously you have to install the package. How to install? Just you have to, for example, this is our 15 package. These are 15 package. So just you have to uh, install SSC install. Metan replace, then you have to install another another package. Name is Meta Panel, and another package. Another package is Meta bias that means you have to install three packages if you use uh, the stata below 17. so i will provide the syntax in my video description no problem so so this is my data so first of all, we have to describe the, our uh, outcome status, T death, T R B R, T death and T sample. T death, T sample. That means uh, number of death in the treatment group and total number of sample size. T death and T alive. Yes, this is the total sample size. So if we would like to summarize this data set, then we have to type metan just t death, not t alive, t death, then t sample, comma, proportion, comma, proportion 
then transform this is a function and label id that means we would like to summarize the data against study id this is our id if you press enter yes so in this finding that we got the number of death in the first study 45 percent number of death in the second study 60 percent up to overall that means just main my main concern the overall the overall the based on our literature search the overall number of death in treatment group or exposed group is 50 percent similarly similarly if we would like to summarize the control group c death just c death then obviously we have to type c sample c sample and it will be constant no problem and if we press enter yes this also the summarize information from control group so the overall number of death in the control group is 49 percent now we have to uh, summarize the effect size so before going to uh, analyze i would like to some information discuss some information for example this is a example already i have mentioned and our objective to assess the influence of smoking on death among older people in bangladesh okay so now the population exposure comparison and outcome so exposure is smoking habit and unexposed group was a non-speaking habit and outcome is a dead and alive so this is the first study complete example sample size two to one total sample size exposed group the sample size one one zero where number of death is 50 number of alive is 60 on the other hand, in the exposed group, unexposed group, the sample size is 111, number of dead 64, and number of alive 47. So, the smoke, we can calculate the percentage, the number of alive and number of dead among non-smoking group, and number of alive and number of dead or percentage of dead among the smoking group just i'm describe this uh, uh, slide for how to calculate or ratio risk ratio and risk divergence so today i will not describe the detail obviously if you would like to know then already i have uploaded some video in my previous presentation in the real analysis please watch this video Now, now my main analysis, metan, metan, this is the package metan, then first outcome death and outcome alive in the treatment group. Then outcome death and outcome alive in the control group. Then comma, then there are several types of effect types. Generally, for binary outcome, we use three effect types, or ratio, risk ratio, and risk difference. So I will use or ratio. So among these, among these data, our software will calculate or ratio automatically. So we can see another some 
information that's important level level the id er here the id er and count if we press enter please this is the main this is the main syntax or it's not a code for meta analysis so if we press enter yes this is our meta analysis for all session here are the treatment group here are the treatment group and here are the control group in this figure our whole study all information have been summarized so this is the this is the main finding So the overall OS ratio 1.6. That means uh, the chance of uh, death was 1.06 times higher among those people who are smoking. Now there is a problem, the value of I square. If the value of I square is more than 25, then we have to use random effect model. So how to judge we have to type random. This is random. Then enter. Yeah, this is the random effect model. If we use the random effect model, then the odds overall ratio is 1.11. This odds ratio, but if you'd like to risk ratio, then we have to type just RR. RR. This is RR. Now, another method. If we if we collect data from literature review, then we can get or ratio, or ratio, confidence interval, and or risk ratio and confidence interval. This or ratio we collect from literature review, and that in that paper the writer use adjusted or ratio. And now, now we use, now we use, this is the completely unadjusted ratio back because we calculate, we calculated our ratio based on this value. Only this value, this value. But research said they estimated our ratio or this ratio using regression method after adjusting the sum relevant and covariate. So, we not need to collect the covariate information. Just we need to collect only or ratio. For example, this is or ratio PR student ID or ratio. Yes, this is or ratio and confidence interval. We collect from the literature review where research are estimate the odds ratio after adjusting some relevant covariate. So if we would like to analyze meta-analysis using this information, then we have to type metan odds ratio CI lower CI upper comma for, for random, random, then level. This our start a quote. So random. This is level ID, just uh, we would like to summarize the data against ID. This is a forest plus 
एक्स लेवल एक्स लेवल एक्स लेवल द लोअर वैल्यू इज पॉइंट वन पॉइंट वन देन वन टू फोर फाइव जस्ट वी हैव टू डिफाइन बेस्ड ऑन आवर लिमिट देन नाल वैल्यू इज वन सो इफ वी ट्रेस यस दिस इज द एडजस्टेड ऑटो रेशियो एंड दिस इज सॉरी दिस इज द नाल वैल्यू एंड एंड द रेड कलर इट प्रोवाइड द ओवरऑल ऑटो रेशियो सो प्लीज सी दैट if we use the adjusted odds ratio then the odds ratio overall odds ratio less than 1 and obviously it is insignificant this contain uh, ci uh, contain 1 so just to uh, interpret the odds ratio and ci please was my previous video so using this command we can uh analyze the uh, metadata and so this is this is my syntax this is my syntax i will provide this syntax in my video description so you can use this syntax so obviously i would request please upload this data then practice one by one after completing practice then you can use this syntax but without practicing please don't use this syntax then it is very difficult to learn thank you very much